Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. In our previous video, I have shown you that how will analysis and design for T-beam. And in this video, I will show you that how will analysis and design for a curve beam. So it's a, a special case of beam. Uh, everywhere, we never use that. But uh, for some special case, it's required to design. So I will show you that about curve beam analysis and design. So you new here. You can watch our previous video if you think that it is helpful for you. So let's start. First of all, I'll open Step Pro. After that, I'll go here, New Project, and there here, Space and i will select length unit in foot and force unit i can select that in okay it's fit uh, kilo pound after that give her the name analysis and design so after that next and pressure add beam finish so here, first of all, to draw a curve beam, we'll first of all draw two column. We'll consider that our column size are 8 feet, our 8 feet column and our both column spacing will be 10 feet. So from here, that is the first point uh, 8 feet column. After that, I'll click here, snap nodder beam then here is our first column after that click cursor select the cursor and copy that so after copy right click you can right click on here otherwise select that and press ctrl plus c again to paste you can right click here right click otherwise you can use ctrl v so what will be the distance in x direction i will consider that our span will be 10 feet so okay 10 feet then press okay here is a both line will select that use here add beam from that point to that point so okay we have select that now we will draw our curve beam from that point to that point before that we will press here node cursor and we will select both two, two nodes and we will give here fix support create fix support and assign close that i'm just going fast cause uh, about that all basic i've discussed in my previous video and almost every video i'm doing that same procedure that's why i'm going fast so after that we'll draw our car beam so to draw car beam we have to go here go geometry then from here add beam and from here add curve beam from here add curve beam so first of all to draw car beam we have to give here the value we have to click first corner and here the last corner and after that this is the most important thing we have to give here the value the radius of curvature i mean our from that point to that point distance are 10 feet so if we consider our radius is 5 feet then that means it will create a semicircle beam so suppose first we will consider this 5 feet okay and after that here is the important thing the gamma angle what is the gamma angle the gamma angle are If we give here positive zero, it means it will create a curve from upper point. I mean like a arch. It will create a curve beam in x direction, positive side, in positive side. So suppose I'm giving you, I'm just giving that. Okay. So here you, you are seeing that it's showing a curve in up. If we go here, so here. 
you can see that it's making carving up just uh, sometimes we can use that to make a door somewhere that's type of beam are required but if we go in 3d mode so here is a 3d mode so after that I will go here property paste so that we can see that a view in 3d mode perfectly so I'll give every data for same data for beam and column to reduce our time define I will uh, select rectangle and uh, I'll select that one fit into one fit add close so click on it and click here assign to view assign yes it's assigned everywhere and close that and now it's pressed on it and if you go in 3d mode so we can see that it's showing our beam in it's showing a rectangular shape of beam rectangular shape of beam it's showing us here it's showing rectangular sorry a circular shape of beam but this um, shape are from up circular but if we need a circular beam suppose we need a balcony and here we'll use a beam so we'll maybe we'll obviously use it in z direction here from here is the z direction so i'll close that i'll select that sorry beam cursor and select that and press delete yes okay delete after that again i'll go here geometry add beam add sorry geometry add beam add carb beam then click first point and again click last point and give her value suppose we need a 5 feet radius of curvature and gamma angle that is the important thing if we give her 0 it will create a beam curb uh, beam, beam like that here I mean positive up and if we give her minus 0 it will create a curve in that direction I mean negative y so if we give her the value is in minus 90 degree so see what happened here it's created a curve like that way and if we that way and again if we go here select that and select that if we give her the value is 5 and if, if we give her the value in uh, 90 degree so it will create a cut here so if we see that here load base we we'll select that assign to view assign yes and then go ahead in 3d mode so you can see that it here it have created car beam like that way so in this way we can draw our car beam as you required for your design after that close that so I will delete select beam select a file sorry I will select one of them okay so I have delete that and I will design for that portion of beam only for that we have to assign load here for that we'll go here load base and here load case add primary load dead load case on okay add close so click on load case one then add here is the self weight factor load minus one okay then member load will consider five keep load five keep per feet in global y direction so it will be minus five okay add close after that select self weight and assign to view yes okay it's assigned everywhere after that select that and click here 
beam cursor and select the beam curve beam and select that value to that curve beam so assign to selected beam assign yes if we click here loads you can see that that is the loads that is the load according to curve beam so everything are ready so we'll go for analysis for that command analysis perform analysis no print okay after that analysis run analysis save so here zero error zero ring zero note so go post processing mode done okay done and here if we see if we see here here is our deflection here is our deflection uh, in 3d mode okay here is our deflection for our column so after that if we go here if we will stop that and if we go here fi here is the Uh, here is the shear force and if we click here, here is the bending sorry uh, axial force after that if we go here for bending moment here is the for bending moment mi is value for mi and here mz is the value for mz so close that after that we if we go reaction here is the value for reaction we can move that here okay here so in this way we can analyze this a curve beam and if we go here go beam here beam and if we go graph and so if we select that so for curve beam we can do graph for that and here for graph and here for graph for column and that column so in our next video if we go here so in our next video i'll show that how will the design for that curve beam so still connected to next video